Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be sharing with you how you can send a text or an SMS message to your phone uh, from a Python script using the Twilio API. The ability to send text or SMS messages to your phone can be a really useful feature to have in your app. For instance, you can use it to verify customer identities or to alert you when something important has happened. And we're going to be doing this by making an API request to a service called Twilio, which also conveniently provides us with a Python library. Now, Twilio does normally charge per text message uh, that you send, something like a couple of cents per message, depending on the country that you're in. But it does come with quite a generous free trial that we're going to use for this tutorial. So with that out of the way, let's get started with the code. Before we get started writing any Python code, we're first going to need to have a Twilio account. So head on over to twilio.com and then just click on this sign up and start building button here. That should then take you to a sign up page where you have to fill in a couple of details and then verify your email. Once your account is verified and you sign into your Twilio uh, dashboard, you should see something like this. So in your console, there'll be five steps you can take to uh, use Twilio or to sort of onboard with it. And the very first step is uh, to get a Twilio phone number. I've actually already gone ahead and done this step, so I can't do it again apparently, but there should be a button here that you can click and it will just let you acquire a phone number for free. And once you have that number, that's gonna be the number that appears when you use this to send messages to yourself or to other people. In the next step, it gives us a, a bash command or a terminal command to actually send a text message to our phone. So we're gonna try that. You need to select what type of terminal you want to use. So you can use Windows PowerShell or just Windows curl if you are using Windows, or if you're using Ubuntu, Linux, or Mac OS, then you will need to use uh, this Unix option. So I'm actually on Ubuntu right now, so this is what I'm gonna use. And this is the command we're gonna need to put into our terminal, and this will test that the Twilio API works and can send us a text message. So this auth token would be needed to be replaced with your actual auth token, which you can find by scrolling down here and then clicking reveal to show this auth token. It's hidden by default. But if we go back up here and uh, just click show auth token, then it's gonna reveal it and we can just copy that. Normally we shouldn't reveal it, but I'm just testing it and I will delete this token after. So I'm comfortable with doing this for now. So let's go ahead and do that. And once we have that, just take it to your terminal of choice and then paste the entire message. And then you should be able to just hit enter. And then you should get a response like this. And if you've input your uh, to destination as your actual phone number with the international dialing code, then you should see a text message appear on your phone. So now that we've shown how this can work with the uh, curl API in the terminal, uh, we want to actually put this into Python so that we can use it as part, part of a script. So what does that look like? So if we go to the next step, there's an app demo that has a no code uh, demo, but we're not interested in this. So we're just gonna skip this step and go to step four, which is a tutorial. And this is how we can learn line by line how to send and receive messages. So if I click that, that should take me to a documentation page. And here we can choose what language we want to use it in. So we're going to use Python. So we're going to click the Python library. And here is going to be our Python specific instructions for using this. So the first step is we have to use Twilio's Python helper library. And if we open that, then it's just a matter of pip installing Twilio. Right, pip install Twilio. So for here, it's not gonna do anything, it's already satisfied, but if you run that and you don't have it, you should see it download and install Twilio. So going back to this, it pretty much just gives us the entire code we can use um, as a sample. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that here. We go to our Python uh, IDE, and I'll just create a new file, and I'll call it sendText.py. And then I'll paste the code I copied from there. So if we look at it, um, we import OS, we import Twilio, and then we set the account IDs and the auth token. Uh, so here, we're actually getting this from the environment variables. So we have to set that first, otherwise, otherwise this script will fail. We create a Twilio client, and then we send a message pretty much just using this function here. So this is the text of the message, and um, this is the source phone number that we want to use and the destination. 
Now, if you do want to use this functionality as part of an app, it probably makes sense to wrap this whole thing in a function that you can specify the destination phone number and the message. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that first. I'm going to create a function here called send text message. And it's going to have an argument called destination, which is going to be the phone number I want to send it to. And it's also going to have a message. So this function will wrap this entire thing. And I'm just going to indent that so it's under this scope. Um, and now I need to replace this here in this API call. OK, so now I have a function that wraps their example. Uh, I might also want to actually use this function. So let me create a main function, which will send the text message. And I'm going to put a number here. And then I'm going to put a message. Okay, so now I'm using this function that wraps this example code that we have, uh, and we should be able to use this. And then I would just have to make sure that I call the main function. So I could just go ahead and do it like this, but if I want to do this properly, then I need to do the if name equals main thing as well. Like this. So this will only be called if we run the script directly, which we're actually gonna do. So when I run the script, it will enter this condition, which will run this function, which will send our message using our wrapper here. And this will use the example code we saw from Twilio earlier. Um, the reason I did it this way rather than running the example right away is because most likely when you build a more complex app, you're probably going to want to wrap this stuff in some kind of functionality. So I just want to, to show you how it would look if you were to do that. Now, if I go ahead and run this, I should expect it to fail because these things should be missing. So let's try that and confirm that it actually does fail. OK, so as expected, we haven't assigned this environment variable, uh, Twilio account ID. So it's giving us this error. So we can either do that by uh, getting our account ID and our auth token and replacing it, like hard coding it here. But that's bad because then we have our configuration in code. So let's actually just go ahead and add it to our environment variable first. If we go back to the tutorial page and scroll down, there's actually a section here that says it's OK to hard code your credentials when getting started, but you should use environment variables to keep them secret before deploying to production. So here's a guide on how to set environment variables. So let's go and have a look at that. And there's a whole uh, and there's a whole article here. So you could follow this if you want. And I'm using Linux, so I'll be doing one of these things. But if you're using Windows, then just follow one of these instructions above. So just click on that and it'll take you to this page. For here, I just have to export the environment variable and then I just have to replace it with this value. First, we have to identify what these values are gonna be. So to do that, we go back to our console and we can go to account and click API keys and token. But if you're already on this console page, you can also find it in this account info here as well. So your account ID is just this one here. So let's get this into our environment variable first. So the first one we have to set is this Twilio account SID. That's the key. So to do that, we'll go to our terminal, write export Twilio uh, account SID, and then just type in whatever value you had in your console and copy and paste it. So I'll set that one. And then we'll do the same for our auth token, which I've already copied to my clipboard. So I'll just run it here as well. And by the way, the key for that one is Twilio auth token. So let's just go ahead and do that. OK, and now my environment variables should be set. So if I echo these values now in my terminal, I should actually see those uh, numbers appear. So now that's done, I can run the script again. And hopefully this time it will work. OK, so I actually have a bug here because in my app, I didn't change the default phone number from the one that was provided uh, in the example. So the one that was provided in the example, this is not the phone number that I created when I used the console. So I have to go back to this step one where I got the phone number and then uh, go down here where it says my Twilio phone number and copy that. 
and then replace it in my script. So let's go ahead and do that. So my from number is going to be replaced. And now let me go back to this um, terminal and send it again. Okay, so it has a text message ID being returned. And if I wait for this message on my phone, it's going to show up. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial for how you can send text or SMS messages to your phone from a Python script. This is definitely a worthwhile skill or tool to have under your belt because it's easy to implement as you've seen, but also at the same time still very useful. And if you have any ideas for how to use a feature like this in your project, or if you have any questions about the API, then please feel free to share that in the comments and I'll try to answer everything I can. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you find it useful and thank you for watching.